That's my mess. I'll clean it up. So, Jeff, is that right? Yeah. So, what are you doing this for? Well, I haven't had a cigarette in two days. No, no, not the cigarette. <laughs> the, the hike, the hike. Oh, the hike. Hmm. Is that an unfair question? No, not at all. That's what my uncle asked me. I said, because I'm crazy. He said, that's what I thought. So Tyler, right? Mm -hmm. So, so what are you, what are you doing this for? Uh, I love the mountains and hiking. And, and that's that's all there is to it. It's that simple. Just yeah. <laughs> Great. You told me something about student loans. <laughs> ah, okay. Now we get the truth. Yeah. All right. Your name would be Packard J. Roundtree. Now that's appropriate. From Yucca Valley, California. And you just love this, I can tell. I'm having a good time. Yep. It's great. It's been real good. It's it's obvious. Quite an experience. I got my resupply package here that I just picked up. I mailed to myself. Uh huh. It's been so long ago, I can't remember what's in here, but there's probably some of that horrible pork pasta. Don't ever buy pork pasta. Okay. What the book says, don't buy it. Okay, word to the wise. So, what keeps you guys coming back? Stupidity. Stupidity? <laughs> I was expecting some big, long, profound statement about nature and... Okay, yeah, that's what I get from D. We just can't get enough. Okay. Well, that's good. I, I hope that I maintain the same enthusiasm.
it's all clear now. I was about killed by mountain bikes on the PCT. It may not look like much, but it is the Hiker Hilton. This kind family, Donna, Jeff, and their son, have a guest house alongside their house in Agadolce, California, which is a pivotal resupply. And this is what they offer to the hiker. And there's one now. Say hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. How you doing? <laughs> is that just the posh set up in there for the standard through hiker? Yeah, we should have like these every day, right? Does this get it? Does it get any better than this? No. Private residence. Private residence cable. What else? Uh, let's see. We got a shower. Yeah. Uh, wonderful host who's willing to do just about anything. Free laundry. Uh, great little town. Wonderful views. Yes, there is. And uh, it's quite a nice. place. Oh, and a phone. There's a phone. And the phone. The phone. We, we could do all our networking, our hiker networking. Well, we're figuring out how to flip flop, right? Yes, we are. We're figuring out because even I, Mr. Cohesion, Mr. North to South, all the way, no matter what, is considering the flip-flop, which means go to Canada and march back to where we left off. I think we're at the stage where uh, Pat was when he was invading Sicily. Hello. Hi. Now, Donna, you said, you know, I, I've offered to tune up your car. I'm sure you've had other people try to return the favor for yes. this wonderful thing you do. And you were saying that we get we get the raw end of the deal. <laughs> so, you, you know, what do you mean by that? I mean, like... Well, I think that uh, we get the better end of this because we get to meet all of you. We get to meet people from all over the country and all over the world. Uh, people who are interested in the outdoors, who value the things that we value. Uh -huh. um, and it's just a real treasure to meet so many wonderful people, to have them come right to our home <laughs> and share time with us and uh, just just really share an important part of their lives, a very memorable time of their lives. Well, I can guarantee you the feeling's mutual and... As much as she tried to convince me, I still think that we got it pretty good. Well, okay. But <laughs> no, I it's mean... It's not as though we don't benefit from it. That's the thing I yeah. have to keep in mind. I've said if this was just a pure act of charity and it was all giving and I wasn't receiving anything, it it, uh, it would be a lie. <laughs> this yeah. is definitely a two-way street, and we benefit from it a lot. Well, and I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. I'm sure I, I speak for everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might be going out on a limb there, but I'm sure I do. So, so just thank enough of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. We enjoy having you, all of you. Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> if, if Utah didn't look so bad... Chicago would look worse. Neither one of them looks very good. Speaking of not looking good. <laughs> Make yourself at home. <laughs> hey, how you doing, world? This yeah, like you life. care what the world's doing right now. <laughs> this is the life, man. Watch the finals of the NBA's on the trail. On <laughs> the trail, yeah. Yeah, the trail. Hey, Ma, look at me. I'm hiking. Oh, yeah, the trail. <laughs> <laughs> what trail? Oh, Jordan takes a shot off his foot. We're multitasking. We're going to get the TV going. <laughs> Each of us experiences a perfect jump. It's rare, but a thing of beauty in all respects. 
You sit down expecting the worst, but what you get is a smooth, sliding, flatless masterpiece <laughs> that breaks the water with this splashless grace of an expert diver. But that's not the end of it. You use some toilet tissue only to find that it was totally unnecessary. It makes you feel that all is right with the world, and you're in perfect harmony with it. Okay, the beer dump. Talk about nasty dumps. <laughs> Depending on the dumper's tolerance, the beer dump is the end result of too many beers. It could have, it could have been two or twenty-two. It doesn't matter. What you get is a sinister, lengthy, noisy dump accompanied by a malevolent evil dump, long, curly, and perfectly formed like two feet of E13 telephone coaxial cable. <laughs> it loops lazily around the bowl like a friendly serpent. You wonder. <laughs> You wonder admiringly, did I do that? Where did it come from? Leave the bathroom, please, with yourself. Build a train to The latrine dump. In case you didn't know, a latrine is a hole in the ground with a tin around it where soldiers, boy scouts, and flies go to dump. Tip, don't ever look in the hole. Well, we've all been there. The Mona Lisa dump. This is the masterpiece of dumps. It's as perfectly formed as it can be, delicate and slender with intricacies that would make a dimension weak. And just think, you made it yourself. You may even want to break out the Polaroid, but maybe that's going to be too far. The empty roll dump. You're done. You reach for the toilet paper, only to discover that an empty cardboard is letter. A mild panic begins coldly in your throat. You could use the curtains, no, someone would say, where are the curtains? Then what would you say? The rug too cumbersome. Then you must come to some, the same conclusion that every empty roll dumper must face. Pull up your slacks, tighten your tush, and wriggle yourself to the nearest full roll. Gross. <laughs> the splash back dump. Oh. You send the dump on its way. It drops like a depth charge into the bowl, creating a calm, full of cool water that washes your bottom with a startling shot. Now you're wet and embarrassed. <laughs> Chip, blot instead of white. <laughs> <laughs> the aborted dump. You are a, you are a mid dump. <laughs>
have to adjust to these nice chairs. I know, and the cushy bed. And the cushy bed and like orange juice. It doesn't taste like water or milk in. You know, it's just, you do manage to get clean. Reunited. Actually, there's less snow in Washington and Oregon this year. Do you want to be in pictures or? <laughs>